Hi Stoke Keith, I thought we'd try reading a new story that I don't think many of you have read. It's called Greta and the Giants by Zoe Tucker and Zoe Pisisco. So, here it is. Her name was Greta. One morning, things weren't as quiet as they should be. Greta stepped out of her garden and there, huddled together in the shadows of the trees, were all the animals of the forest. A soft silvery brown wolf stepped forward with his tail low on the ground. Please help us, he whispered. The forest is broken and we don't know where to go. The giants are ruining our home. Who the giants could be. The giants had always been there for as long as Greta could remember. But now they were worse than ever. They were huge lumbering oaths and they were always busy. They chopped down trees to build homes. They chopped down more trees to be unbuilt bigger homes. Their houses grew into towns, their towns grew into cities. They built factories and shops and cars and planes. They worked all day and all night until eventually. There was hardly any forest left, oh dear. But the greedy giants had forgotten how wonderful the forest was. They didn't see all the little birds and bugs and butterflies and bears that trembled in the shadows. And no one told them to stop because everyone was scared of them. Everyone except Greta. Oh, I think she's got a plan. We help us, asked the wolf. Greta looked around her. The animals looked tired and sad. She said she, ha she had to help them. But how? Greta had an idea. I wonder how she's going to help them. The next morning, Greta went to the middle of the forest and waited for the giants to come. She stood alone, holding a big sign. The sign said, stop. She waited and waited. Ooh, there's nobody there. I don't think that's going to do much good, Greta. On the first day, the giants didn't see her. They just lumbered by. And on the second. And the third too. But on the fourth day, something strange happened. A little boy who'd been watching Greta made a sign. He came and sat down next to her. He didn't say much, but Greta knew he felt like she did. So Greta's sign said stop. And the little boy's sign says listen. Oh, so they want everyone to stop and listen. I wonder what will happen. Soon, more people and animals saw what they were doing and joined in too. We live here. I heart earth. Help! Save our forest! Who will help? Save our forest! Our home is on fire! Stop! Action now! Listen! Oh, she's got lots of people helping her now. Before long, a huge crowd filled the forest, stretching out to the city and the roads beyond. They stood together and waited. The crowd was so huge. Oh, look, this, this giant looks like he might have hurt them. Huh? That the giant stopped in their tracks. Please stop, Greta cried. Your greedy behavior is spoiling our home. You've broken the trees, trampled the flowers, and now the bees and the birds have flown away. These animals are homeless and our forest is dying. After Greta had spoken, everything was silent. But then everyone in the crowd began to shout, The smoke from your fires is choking the air! You can help plant some new ones and mend my home. And please stop cutting down all the trees. Please help. We need to take care of our forest and live together. Will you please try? 
why they all said. The giants shuffled and fidgeted and stumped their feet on the ground. They're a little bit embarrassed and a little bit sad. You see, the giants were so busy building, they didn't see what they were doing to the forest or the animals who lived there. The giants felt terrible. We're sorry, they said, and they promised to try harder. So from that day on, the greedy giants weren't so greedy. They slowed down and learned to sit quietly. They stopped working all the time and instead took up new hobbies. They stopped chopping down trees and learned all about gardening and living in the forest. They cooked, repaired, tidied and shared. And before long, the forest became more beautiful than they could have ever imagined. Oh look, now they're all working together as a team. I hope you enjoyed that story and maybe you can work as a team to help change people's minds and look after our planet.